Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Wednesday, and you know what we do. It's a beautiful morning. Sun is shining. I'm telling you, it looks great this morning. That that really must mean that we're going to have a good, good day. I say that every Wednesday, though. Even when it's raining, I say it's going to be a good, good day. But truly, it's going to be a good, good day. It's not really about the weather. It's about your state of mind. It's about what you declare and about what you determine. So let me be maybe the first to say good morning to you. Welcome to Wednesday. Uh, God has blessed us. And uh, here we are, April the 3rd, beginning of the month. And I'm telling you, this year is going by quickly. It's the fourth month of the year. And we're still abiding, man, in the favor of God. So I'm happy to see you this morning. Y'all, come on, jump online. Let's say hello to one another. Uh, let's get into the word, pray, and then we're going to be out of here. You're on the line this morning. If you see somebody uh, that you haven't talked to in a minute, just send them a shout out real quick. Tell them, hello, we're building our numbers. It's so good to see you. All right. Thankful for you. Glad you hopped on the line with me this morning. I'm going to say good morning to all of you. i just blessed to be with you on Wednesday. All right. Good morning, James Booker. I'm calling your whole name. Glad that you're on this morning. Madeline, good morning, y'all. Glad that you came on. Emma Key, really appreciate you. All right, there's Cousin Tam this morning. All right. Got Cicely coming on, coming on. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Marshall Weeks, love New Life family. There's Q. All right, tell somebody good morning. There's Jana. Tell somebody good morning. All right, you're seeing their name come across the screen. Uh, tell them good morning. All right. Got Jonathan coming on. Tell them good morning. Cynthia Johnson. All right. There's Keisha. Tell somebody good morning. Uh, Michelle Bridget Reed. Got to call her whole name. Tell them good morning. You want them to know uh, that you wish them a good, good day. All right. Mary Robson. She's coming in. I'm telling you, the Lord is blessing already. Carolyn favors Bryant. Got to call that whole name. Valencia is on. Paula Holman is on this morning. All right, Doris Trotter. All right, tell somebody good morning. Joel. All right, Erica Rain. It's going to be a good, good day. All right, there's Jack. All right, there's Chris. It's going to be a good, good day. Thankful for all of you. All right, Aisha, there she is. Good morning. Glad that you're on. Glad that you're on. Got a word for you this morning. There's Tiffany. Glad that you're on, Martha. Glad that you're on. Those shout outs are so important. There's Brenda. All right. Chastia's on this morning. It's always good to just give a shout out. Chris. All right. He's live from Phoenix. Good, good morning. Karen Wood Daniels. Got to say that whole name. All right. There's Kyra. All right, got to say those names. Felicia's on this morning. Uh, Ernest is watching. Tell somebody good morning. There's Kelly Graham. All right, give a shout out to Miss Kelly Graham. There's Shalandra. There you go. All right, Victoria. I saw Victoria last night. All right, glad that you all are on. Glad There's Shannon. Glad that you all are on. There's Vanessa. She was there right in the midst last night in the thick of things. All right. All right. Celeria Perryman. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Steve. I saw Steve sitting there last night. Ebony Tripp. We got you. Davida. Good morning. 
Glad that you all are on this morning. We're yet building our numbers. Come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in. Come on in. Going to be a good, good word there, Cheryl. Come on in. Cheryl was definitely there last night. Y'all come on in. All right. All right. This Sonia. Come on in, Sonia. We're glad you're on with us this morning. Sheena, my new camera woman. Come on in. Terrell. All right. Kathy, come on in. Come on in. I'm telling you, it's going to be a good, good day. Listen, uh, we are officially in the month of April, and let me just talk about that for a minute. This is the month that we celebrate uh, the birth of New Life of Memphis. You do know that our church started off with the name New Life in Christ Fellowship Church, and later we shortened it and made it New Life of Memphis. But we are so thankful for the favor of God in the life of our church. Uh, New Life is officially 17 years old. What an amazing accomplishment. We are officially 17 years old. I mean, 17 years ago, God gave birth to the church and did something that was phenomenal. And so we're excited about the month of April. We're going to celebrate all month long. We're going to share with one another. We'll close out on the fourth Sunday, which is actually Founders Day. And uh, Dr. Linda and I are always appreciative of what you share uh, it's it's a good thing because it's a celebration for the whole church, the whole month. And really, the person we're celebrating, to be quite honest with you, is God, um, his favor upon new life. We're a blessed church in every way. I, I just cannot tell you that enough. We are a blessed church in every way. And I'm so thankful for all of you. Just the fact that we get up on Wednesdays to share together um, is so powerful. And so I appreciate all of you, Dr. Linda and I, um, together love all of you. And it's so good to be with you, um, not only on Wednesdays, obviously, but as a church. And you give us cooperation and support, and you follow incredibly well. And I thank God for that, without struggle and fight <clears throat> and difficulty. So together in the month of April, we're going to celebrate this 17th year. We're going to do it up. Pastor Patrick Walker is coming to preach Founders Day. He's coming from New Macedonia Church in Washington, D.C. on the fourth Sunday. I want us to be at church every single Sunday for the month of April, uh, either 9 or 11. And some of y'all do 9 and 11, uh, and I'm always thankful for that. But get to church. Don't miss it. It's going to be a blessing literally all month long. I promise you, all month long. So let me know who you're praying for. Uh, I got a word for you. Let me know who you're praying for um, this morning. Who's on your mind? Who's on your heart? Who are you asking God to heal? What are you, who, who are you asking God to bless? Uh, who's on your prayer list for today? All right. Give me that information. I, I want to know who you're praying for. All right. Who are you interceding for this today? All right. Talk to me. All right. Who are you praying for this morning? All right. Q's praying for Kelly Graham. I got you. Who are you praying for this morning? Throw it out on the feed. I want to know who you're praying for. All right. Kyra says, I'm praying for you, Bishop. Girl, I need it too. I promise you. <laughs> I need it so badly. Michelle Bridget Reed praying for my mother. We got you. All right. Bernard is praying that we love more as a people. I know that's right. David is praying for the Anderson family. We got you. Uh, Fifi's praying for, she says, me and those allergies. Is that not right? I know that's right. Jana's praying for her daughter, Jada. We got you. All right. Madeline's praying for my family in the city of Memphis. All right. All right. Jackie says, I'm praying for my granddaughter, Makayla. All right. Mary says she's praying for her parents, Dora and John Hare. We got you. Uh, Book says he's praying for a wife and a procedure today. We got you most certainly. All right. Chris is praying for Alicia Phillips and family. All right. Keisha is praying for Linda Parrish and family. All right. Monica Bentley praying for those with mental health concerns. Most definitely. All right. Uh, Shalanda is praying for my family and the current Todd family. All right. 
Mike Craig is praying for a friend in his marriage. We got you. We got you. Uh, Cynthia's praying for our youth and young adults. All right. Shell's praying for herself and her family. We got you. Uh, Tamarin is praying for her dad. We got you. Uh, oh, I should thank you for that. Praying for you as you defend your dissertation. That means the world to me. I defend my dissertation um, next week. Looking forward to it. Thank you for that. I really appreciate that. I defend on next week. Um, praying for uh, Felicia. Uh, I'm sorry, Felicia is praying for her beloved Ernest this morning. We got you. Kenny Neal, my man, praying for the Bonner family, loss of their daughter, uh, entire new life family. All right. Uh, Jason Hampton, as family for us, praying for his family. All right. And Cynthia Mason, praying for her brother's health and strength. We got you. Janice, praying for my niece, Alex, and the Royster family. Uh, Solirius, praying for my sisters. We hear you, Don's, praying for the Edwards family. Uh, thank you for your help last night, bud. I appreciate you. I love you all so much. And I wanted to thank you for being in place last month, last night. We went to the New Salem Church for Citywide Revival. Many of you were there, and I so appreciate that. Uh, it was it was a long, 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 long service. There was probably seven songs uh, that were sung last night, and it was long. But what blessed me is that you were there and you stayed, New Life, and I appreciate that so very much. Um, when it comes to how we do worship, our worship services are shorter, obviously less singing. But let me tell you something. It was good to go back. It was good to fellowship. I saw so many pastors and preachers that I probably have not seen in years, <clears throat> which is interesting because we're in the same city, but in the busyness of the work of the church, um, there's some people that you don't get a chance to see. And so it was somewhat of a homecoming for me last night. As I said, uh, I've been in Memphis now over 32 years. And so there's some people I haven't seen in a while, not quite that long, but long enough to know that uh, we've missed each other, several pastors and friends. And so it was a blessing last night and certainly to have you. I know our choir really didn't get a chance to sing because so much singing had already taken place. And for them to do two songs or one long song was going to elongate a service. And so I asked them to sing short and quick um, because the hour was growing late and uh, I wanted to hurry up and get on up. So I appreciate you all for being there and being supportive and being loving. And for staying, uh, that means the world to me. I appreciate you so much. Listen, I just want to drop a quick word in on you about the church, and then we're going to pray about it. You know, the interesting thing about Wednesday in the Word is that we talk about several different things every single Wednesday. The first thing is I get a chance to speak to you. You speak back to me. And then we get to this place where we start talking about who we're praying for. We give a listing of names of people who are in our hearts and on our minds, and we start sharing because we're asking those who are on the feed, on the line, to join you in praying for that person or people. It's a powerful thing because maybe you don't realize it or not, but we're a community. We are the church. But if we really start explaining the word church, we could get into the Greek terms of it all, and those, the term is important and you could know it, but you won't appreciate it unless you live out what the term means. We're a community of believers, the community of faith, as a matter of fact. And we live that out by how we interact with one another, how we support one another, even how we worship with one another, <laughs> and in all ways, how we exemplify Jesus Christ to the world. And so we're, we're different sizes, different colors, have different experiences. We work in different places, but it's powerful that together we are the church. We are the body of Christ. I'm saying all of this to you because this is the 17th year of New Life's existence. We were born 17 years ago. And I am so thankful, Dr. Linda is so thankful that we have the opportunity to lead you as pastors. But even in the midst of the celebration, we cannot forget who we are responsible to and what we are responsible for. We have to impact the world for Jesus Christ. And sometimes that comes with a degree of difficulty because it looks like uh, we're so overwhelmed by things that happen in the world. 
But Jesus says, we're the salt of the earth and we're the light of the world. It tells us whether we call ourselves salt or light, that we are impactful, like we're change agents. We have the ability to change environments, change conversations, change the way people think about Christ, about being a part of the church, about living a righteous and godly life. And so as we celebrate 17 years, I want you to know how powerful you are, how important you are, that as the church, we still have a major responsibility. Don't take anything about the church lightly. I want you to know that you are powerful. Uh, even Jesus says, let your light so shine that men will see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. If you understand what Jesus is saying, that as light, you are so powerful in your illumination that when people see you, they'll see the Father. That is incredible. It means you live in such a way that you show people who God is. That's what the church does. We can't make anybody be saved. All we can do is live in such a way that people see Christ in us. When we lead people to Christ, what we're doing is we're leading them to make a decision. They have to look at their present lives. They have to look at the opportunity to become Christians and know Jesus. And based on what we share with them, they make a decision either for Christ or to stay in the world. That's the best that we can do. But when your light shines, when you exemplify Jesus Christ in your living, in fact, in everything that you do, you help people to see what it means to be a Christian. And so to all of you who are on the line, I so appreciate you for living Christ filled lives, Christ centered lives, godly lives. And I'm promising you without calling all of your names in one way or another, the Lord is using you to touch somebody else. So you're powerful. You may not even know how powerful you are. Here's the deal. You may not even know who's watching you, but I promise you somebody's watching you. Somebody's paying attention to you. You are powerful. You, you are impactful. And we need more people like you to turn this world in the direction of Jesus Christ. If I tell you so many things are happening, so many problems are rising up, community all over the world, not just the United States, certainly not just Tennessee, not just Memphis, not just Mississippi. No, no, no. There are problems all over the world. I was in Tampa last week and some of the very things that we talk about that are happening in the city of Memphis, I promise you they're happening in Tampa. Uh, Tampa is a, an incredible vacation spot, a great tourist place, but they're having their problems too. There's no way you're going to go to escape problems. There's just no place. But you don't have to escape problems if Christ is living inside of you. And so I, I've, I've, I've come to share with you who you are, the responsibility that you have, and to call you to continue to live in that responsibility. Let your light shine. People need to see you so that they can see the Father. I want you to know that you are powerful. In fact, throw that out there on the feed. I'm powerful. I'm powerful. I've got one better for you. I want you to put out there, I am the light. I am the light. I want you to let somebody know, I am the light. I am the light. Jesus says you're light. If he said it, it's got to be true because he knows what he's talking about. All right, tell somebody, I am the light. I am the light. I am the light. I want you to get that thing out there. I am the light. <clears throat> You need to say it. I am the light. There you go, Victoria. I am the light. Come on, get it out there. It means wherever you go, wherever darkness exists, somebody's going to see the Lord because of you. I am the light. Get that out there on the feed. I am the light. You don't have to be in the city of Memphis to be light. Wherever you go, you're light. On the job, in your family. Man, if you walk in Kroger, you're still light. I don't care where you go. I mean, even driving down the street, you are light. All right, I am the light. I want us to pray about that this morning. Father, how we thank you for Wednesday. We thank you for the calling that is on New Life of Memphis, which means there's a call on everybody who's in membership. There's a call on their lives to be the light that you said we are supposed, are supposed to be in scripture. We have a responsibility to the world to show them who you are 
And I pray that nothing will get in the way of that light. We thank you that we are your church. We thank you for 17 years. We thank you, God, for the opportunity to do ministry. We love worshiping together, working together. We're a church that loves fellowship and relationship. And we thank you for that. We pray that nothing would ever change that. And so we appreciate those who started out with us 17 years ago, but we most definitely thank you for those who've come alongside of us in those 17 years. We pray for Dr. Linda this morning, that you would bless her life and strengthen her and use her God, even as the gift that she is to the body of Christ in preaching and in teaching and in leading. God, she is an incredible leader. We pray for her, her health and welfare. And we pray, God, that she will yet have the opportunity to do all of the things that she is called to do. We thank you for all the leaders that are part of New Life, our ELS. We love them so much. We appreciate them. We thank you for their leadership and for what they mean to this church. For every leader over ministries, God, who serve sacrificially and who give of their time, God, and their energy, uh, to be faithful to the corporate vision of new life. We thank you for them. And for every team member, every member of this church, I pray that everybody would come to know that they are important. Without them, we're not the same. So bless their lives, strengthen their lives. And God, those things that they are most concerned with, would you speak to those things? Now, finally, Lord, as we go out in the world today, while the sun is shining, we meet, may meet some unfavorable situations Give us the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to know what to do and how to do it. We totally depend on you. We love you and appreciate you. We already know it's going to be a good, good day. And God, as we celebrate all month long, it's your name that'll get the celebration because without you, we're nothing. Without you, there is no new life of Memphis. We give you all praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. It's about the Lord, man. It is about the Lord. You go out there and you enjoy your day to day. You walk in the power of who you are and who you're called to be. And you let somebody know I'm a member of New Life of Memphis. All right. Tell them this is our month. We're going to have a ball all month. We're going to give God praise all month. We're going to fellowship, eat together, laugh together, maybe even cry together. But it's going to be a good, good month. I celebrate each and every one of you. New Life Everywhere, those of you who are members virtually, I celebrate you. You are just as important as if you in the room. We love you so much, and we thank God for you. All right, I need you to get to church on Sunday. Uh, Sunday is the first, can you believe it's the first Sunday in April, but that's okay. I'm telling you, we're moving forward. We're going to have a great, great time together. We love you. Enjoy your day. I'm out.